Hey everyone, Nat Frankenstein here and today I've got a little review for you guys. Um, it is on some of the San Diego Comic Con Pop Vinyl exclusives. Um, I have two that I'm going to be showing you today. Um, I have a couple that have been ordered. There's a bit of a story. I'll get into it. Um, now we won't like waste time or anything. Um, so what happened is today, uh, here in Australia, so today is the 22nd, um, and the San Diego Comic-Con pop vinyls, um, from Funko, uh, went on sale today. Now, um, there are a couple of websites that were selling them. You could always, uh, blah, blah, blah. You could also get them in store. Uh, so there was Pop Culture was one of the websites selling them. There was Zing Pop Culture. Um, EB Games had the Marcus Phoenix Pop Final Exclusive. Um, there's probably a couple of like independent retailers that were also selling them, but I decided to stick with the, um, the larger retailers. So, I woke up late this morning. Um, the sale apparently started at nine o'clock. I didn't get up till 10.30. Um, this year I wasn't overly fast with the exclusives. Um, the ones that I really wanted were Beerus, the Destroyer from Dragon Ball Z. Um, now I'll just kind of preface this by saying I didn't get him because apparently um, Funimation were giving him away um, at the Funimation booth at Comic-Con and he was like a convention only um, pop vinyl. So I haven't seen anywhere that has been selling him, but if anyone knows someone who's selling a beer at like not an exorbitant price, please leave me a comment below. Um, I need beers for my Dragon Ball collection. Um, but the other one, there, yeah, as I mentioned, there weren't really a whole lot that I wanted this year, so I kind of went into this with the expectation that if I didn't get it, if I didn't get any of them, like, I wasn't going to be sad. I wasn't going to be angry or anything like that, like I have been in previous years. Um, so there were only really a couple that I really wanted. Beerus, as I mentioned, was one. Um, I really wanted the Purple Pieman from Strawberry Shortcake, um, and I was considering the, um, the Burning Walker from The Walking Dead. I wanted, I was kind of up in arms about getting BB-8 with his thumbs up. It was so cute, um, but he was another one that I was considering getting. Um, what were the other ones now? I feel like there were a few, but as I mentioned, like, there weren't really any that I was, like, I just, I need to have. These were just the ones that I kind of liked. Um, so what I did was I jumped on to, well, I tried to jump onto Pop Culture, the website today, but it was crashing. Um, and I had heard word that their sister store, uh, no, sorry, big pardon, it's not their sister store, um, Zing Pop Culture, which is EB Games' sister store, um, they were selling pop vinyls, the exclusive San Diego Comic Con ones, online. So I jumped onto their website and I got myself a Purple Pyman. Um, I also jumped on the EB Games website and I got a Marcus Phoenix for my boyfriend. And then I decided, I was like, why don't we just go into Zing and like into the shop itself and we'll see what's there. So my boyfriend and I went in um, and turns out every pop that I wanted bar Marcus Phoenix was in the shop. So instead of making an order and now having to wait to get the purple pie I could have just picked it up there. But I did end up getting two pops. Um, so the ones that I have here that I bought from Zing in store, I am going to show you. Um, and the other two, well, I'll just have to do another video and you guys will have to wait. But um, without any more waiting, I'm going to show you guys the two pops that I got. So the first one um, I actually got for my boyfriend because he is collecting uh, all the Walking Dead zombies. Um, so I did get the Burning Walker. As you can see, I'm really sorry about the glare. I've got the TV on. I should turn it off. Um, 
As you can see, it does have the Summer Convention exclusive sticker. It's not an actual San Diego Comic-Con sticker. Um, does it change the value? Probably a little bit. Do I care? Not really. <laughs> um, but yeah, that, oh, that is him right there. And he's got little flames everywhere and he's super, super cute. I'm not going to unbox this one because, again, this is my boyfriend's. I, even though I did buy it, um, I don't want to unbox it in case he wants to keep it in the box, um, you know, in pristine condition. So that was that one that I got him. Um, I was just looking on the back. So cute. Look at little Abraham. Oh. So cute. FYI, you guys, I'm going to, oh, well, my boyfriend and I go to America this year and we're going to Walker Stalker Con. So I um, have pre-purchased uh, photo ops and one of them will be with um, Michael Cudlitz, who plays Abraham, and also Josh McDermott, who plays Eugene. I'm so excited. Also, we did Norman Reedus as well, so I'll be meeting Norman Reedus so excited um anyway i digress the other pop vinyl that i got this was really kind of the other one that i like out of all the ones i liked i kind of really sort of kind of really wanted <laughs> um purple pyman was the one i really really wanted the most out of all of them because i probably will get the entire strawberry shortcake collection um but the other one i got was Golden Freddy. Um, this is obviously from the video game Five Nights at Freddy's, um, which is creepy. It's a creepy game. Um, but yeah, I got the Gold Freddy. Again, I'm really sorry for the glare. But that is him there. Again, Summer Convention exclusive sticker, not the... Um, not the San Diego Comic Con sticker, but as I mentioned, I don't care. I don't plan on selling these, uh, you know, anytime in the future. Or maybe I will, I don't know yet. But um, for now, he will stay here with me. Um, I might take him out of the box because I know it's like cardinal sin. You don't take pops out of the boxes. But if I can do it carefully, I want to show you guys. And, oh, my TV's turned off, which is great. So, there shouldn't be so much glare. Um, not that it's going to matter, because I'm taking him out of the box. I'll leave him in the clamshell, because it's it doesn't really matter. But that is little Freddy there. Um, he's so cute. He's evil and cute. He's got his little um, little microphone and... He has no, like, eyes. He is soulless. He is just very, very evil. Um, but yeah, so I, that he's just so cute. I like him. Um, I'm really excited to show you guys the Purple Pyman when he comes because uh, it comes with, like, another little figurine as well. And it's also scented. Um, and also, uh, as I mentioned, I ordered Marcus Phoenix from Gears of War, so I will show that one as well when they both come. They most likely will arrive around the same time, so when they both come, I will do a video. But, um, yeah, so look, that's my mini San Diego Comic-Con pop vinyl haul. I know it's not a whole lot, but as I mentioned, like, I just really... I just really kind of weren't, wasn't really feeling it, I guess. This year, there weren't that many that I really, really had to have. Like, I can live without getting them. And I can live without the stress of trying to access the pop culture website, which was redunculous. Again, this year, they still are having um, issues with the server. So every time they try and sell the San Diego Comic-Con exclusives, their website always crashes and people get mad. And this year I was like, I don't want to be mad. So, um, I sourced my pops from elsewhere and I picked up the ones I want and I got the ones I know my boyfriend wanted. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. That's my pop haul. Um, hope you guys liked it. If you picked up any San Diego Comic Con exclusives, let me know in the link, in the link below, in the comments below. Um, if you're at San Diego Comic Con, let me know what the coolest thing you've seen is. And also just know that I am totes jealous of you right now. I so wish we tried getting tickets, but it's so hard. I don't know. Anyway.
If you like this video, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. I will be doing um, more Funko unboxings if that's your thing. Um, I generally just cover geeky goodness, anything pop culture-y. Um, if you like all that kind of stuff, please give me a follow. And um, yeah, let's let's be nerds and do nerdy things. Until next time, you guys, I'm Natty Frankenstein, and I will see you later. Don't you hate it when you're trying to turn a video off and it just won't, like your little clicker doesn't work?